Hello everyone. Again, welcomes you all on the YouTube channel of Chameli Devi Institute of Pharmacy, Indore. In this session, we will going to discuss about introductory part of clinical pharmacy. These are the contents of the session. That is definition of clinical pharmacy, scope of clinical pharmacy. Development of clinical pharmacy, its requirements, and how does clinical pharmacy differ from pharmacy? So, clinical pharmacy is defined as the science and practice of rational use of medications, where the pharmacists are more oriented towards the patient care, rationalizing medication. Therapy promoting health, wellness of people, and it is also defined as the branch of pharmaceutical sciences dealing with utilization of pharmacist knowledge, skills, and judgments related to biomedical and pharmaceutical sciences to prove the safety, the cost, and the precision of drug uses in the patient care. now what is the scope of this clinical pharmacy so as i said it is a branch of pharmacy which deals with the patient care and medication and promotes health wellness and diseases innovation the pharmacist work in management with the doctors for the patient health care pharmacist have wide education in biomedical pharmaceutical and clinical sciences clinical pharmacy consists of all the services accomplished by pharmacist practicing in hospital community pharmacies nursing homes home based care services clinics and other settings wherever medicines are prescribed and used so as the uh, functions of clinical pharmacist these are the scope of clinical pharmacy that is drug information drug utilization disease state management drug evaluation and selection medication therapy management and formal education and training programs regarding drug drug uses here is the development of clinical pharmacy so in developed countries like united states of america canada etc clinical pharmacy has already taken good shape until the mid 1960s the development of clinical pharmacy started in usa more clinically oriented curriculum were designed with the award of pharmd degree these developments influenced the practice of pharmacy in uk initially prescription and drug administration records were introduced followed by an increasing pharmacy practice in hospitals wards master degree programs in clinical pharmacy were introduced for first time in 1976 the progress of clinical pharmacy development remained at low profile in the first decade after its birth in uk however nafelt report in 1986 geared up the momentum for progression of clinical pharmacy in india clinical pharmacy is in the infancy state india stands among top 15 in the world in pharmaceutical market with respect to pharmaceutical production export import etc so why clinical pharmacy required it is required for knowledge of drug therapy patient care knowledge of the disease knowledge of laboratory and diagnostic skills as well as communication skills patient monitoring physical assessment drug information therapeutic planning and knowledge of non drug therapies 
how does clinical pharmacy differ from pharmacy so the discipline of pharmacy focused on the knowledge on synthesis chemistry and preparation of drugs if we are talking about clinical pharmacy then it is more oriented to the analysis of populations needs with regards to medicines way of administration patterns of use drug effects on the patients the overall drug therapy management the focus of attention moves from the drug to the single patient or population receiving drugs thank you for watching the session